Okay, here's the outside of the Go Box. It is a Gator uh, 6U uh, rack mount box. And uh, I'll go ahead and take off the covers and then uh, we'll show you a little bit closer the different stuff I put in the Go Box. Okay, there is the front of the go box, and we'll go a little bit closer here. What we have right here is a Yaesu FT90R that I bought back in 1999. Dual band radio, very small. Runs kind of warm though, and it's still uh, running great. Over here on this side, this is a uh, external speaker, a CB that I uh, uh, speaker that I bought at uh, Fry. It's called a Big Mouth CB speaker. Down here is a 25-30 amp PowerWorks uh, switching power supply. Uh, the reason I bought it is it's got real nice uh, mounting brackets, which I'll show you a little bit closer here on the side. And then here I've got a uh, actually a canvas case that I uh, keep uh, stuff like the power cord in, the uh, microphone, keep the microphone in there. And I also have a uh, power pole. Uh, clip set that I can use for attaching to a battery. Okay, just so that I can get a little bit better light, I've spun the spun the unit around, so this is the back. Uh, what I've got in here is I've got some Velcro on the bottom, so I've got a little mag mount uh, antenna that I keep in there, uh, kind of a just-in-case or to use for HTs. I've got uh, also Velcroed. I've got uh, 75 feet of, of uh, 50 ohm cable. I also have a Velcro, a whole bunch of, you can barely see them in there, a whole bunch of every kind of adapter you might want to have. The back of the radio comes back here. I've got a pigtail uh, put on it just so it's easier to connect the, uh, the cable, or the uh, uh, RG58 cable, to the uh, radio when I take it out. I also have a, a really big 12 volt. Um, fan to just kind of keep the whole box cool. I know one thing about the FT90 is it runs very warm. Um, also, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit here. This is a uh, a rig runner. Um, don't remember exactly. It's a 4004U rig runner. So I have the input, then I have the uh, the 25 amp radio, two open, I believe that's a 5, and a 10 and a 5, and then here I've got the uh, 1 amp. This goes directly wired to the uh, fan so that it goes on. And then this is, because it's a U, a 4004U, it actually has two USB power. And I've got the USB power going for the lights, which I'll show you in just a minute, uh, the, the, the night lights uh, for the uh, unit. A little more detail of the inside of the, there's the rig runner, the 4000U rig runner. And then on over to the, the fan that I've got that's behind the radio, giving it uh, power. Another kind of interesting feature, what I did was I took the back cover of the uh, Gator case and what I did was I, I mounted some 22 gauge steel uh, into the inside of it so that if I want to use this uh, mag mount antenna, I instantly have something to stick it to that's metal for just a little ground plane. Wouldn't use this for much power, maybe just the 5 watts or maybe to uh, run it as a secondary antenna for my primary antenna which I would have hooked up to the Yaesu Mobile. Okay, I have it uh, plugged in now, so we'll go ahead and we'll turn on the power supply. One of the neat things I didn't show before is these gooseneck uh, lights that uh, I have. Uh, it's there. It's a 1U uh, rack mount, and these lights are, are LED, so you can kind of, I don't know if you can, you can't really see too well. Yeah, I guess you can. Uh, and so they're just LED, and they actually uh, run off the USB, that white USB cable I had in the back. So you've got two of these light so if you're in a dark situation need to work on some paperwork while you're on the radio you have these and uh, if for some reason you are running on battery power because they're USB they don't really take uh, up too much power so now here's the radios turned on. I don't know if you can see we're on our local repeater the 145.17 and so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, transmit this is KF9 ZA testing KF9 ZA clear.
So what I've got now is I've just got it hooked into the uh, mag mount stuck on the, uh, on the metal plate that's on top of the uh, radio up here. Uh, just just uh, running just five watts here. And so, uh, and you can see in the background there, the fan is running. It's very quiet uh, and is uh, running, keeping uh, everything cool. So previously I showed you how uh, I had it hooked up to this mag mount antenna. Well, what I've done now is I've gone ahead and uh, connected it to my uh, outside antenna. So here it is, it's mounted on a camera tripod, not the best for the outside. But anyway, it's an older MFJ uh, antenna with a nice uh, ground planes there. And you see I've got it hooked in. What I've done here is I've created a bracket that uh, is actually, uh, it's got a camera mount on it. And then I also have a, a tiltable um, you know, bracket for putting onto a pole. And then what I've done is actually taken the tie wrapped, everything here is a half inch. So I've gone ahead and tie wrapped a half inch uh, wrench to it. So wherever I am, I've you know, just clipped that off and I've uh, got the wrench. So let's go ahead and see if we can make a contact uh, with this larger uh, antenna. Okay, we're back at the front of the radio. One thing I did want to mention is I do have this canvas bag here, but that actually uh, I've got that actually mounted with some screws and uh, nuts, but actually that's uh, an area that will be for future expansion. I'll be putting a, an HF rig there. So uh, we've got the radio turn, tuned on to a repeater that's probably 50 miles away and just running 5 watts here. KF9ZA testing. KF9 ZA clear. So anyway, this is my uh, go box. It's KF9 ZA and I'll be clear.